Authorities have announced that a total of 71 persons lost their lives while 124 others sustained different degrees of injuries as a result of the bomb blast that occurred at the Yanyan Motor Park in Abuja on Monday morning. The police public relations officer, Frank Umba, who, made, who spoke to the press at the scene of the incident, says the figures were arrived at after collating data from the hospitals where victims were taken to. Some of the witnesses spoken with says the number of casualties may be far higher than what was declared by security agencies. Ozumba Kennedy, who helped in rescuing victims, says he ran to the scene immediately he heard the blast. The blast went off around 10 minutes or 15 minutes to, to 7 this morning. The number of people that were affected are in town, you know, they, 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 if they are not up to 100, they should be close to that. Or more than that, because it's a mass public transport environment where people are in their hundreds of people. Uh, like hawkers are around, people that are begging for arms are around. You know, so there were so many people on, in this place when the, the explosion went off. That is exactly what happened. He says the bomber, who disguised as a transporter, drove the vehicle into the park and ran off immediately before the bomb went off minutes later. Another witness, who simply gave his name as Emmanuel, says bodies of victims littered the area as at when he got there. Security personnel have condoned the scene and are presently digging the point of the blast to find debris that could help identify the kind of explosives used. Joshua of the Emmy reporting for Daily Trust.